Young people are especially concerned in your poll and in others about the economic impacts of the virus. And so in that sense, um, it's not surprising that they're paying quite a bit of attention to news about the coronavirus. When you're at that point in the life cycle, when you're the youngest workers, the last to be hired, often the first to be fired, most vulnerable because of where you are in the life cycle, you tend to be really concerned about things such as this. And this would be particularly true because those youngest age groups went through the 2008-2009 recession and that had such a devastating impact on public opinion and on the economic fortunes of the youngest group in the population. One of the things that I thought was pretty telling with this, this recent poll is that the, the age differences on concern about uh, being infected by COVID-19 have, have virtually disappeared, right? Where the young people and older Americans are roughly, you know, equally concerned. Uh, we saw early, uh, earlier on in the pandemic that there was, um, you know, much greater concern among older Americans and younger Americans. Uh, younger Americans are also working in the industries that are most affected. So they're more like young people are more likely to be servers, to work in in um, you know retail, the kind of places that have been shut down in mass, uh, to be part-time workers, uh, and all these these occupations, um, they're much less likely to have um, uh, support from their employer. So they're they, you know they can't be for they can't be furloughed. Um, they can't be you know work remotely if you're um, a server at a restaurant or you work in a movie theater. So you're, you're basically stuck. Uh, and so I think that the fear and, and concern um, that young people have is reflected in the fact that their employment situation is, is pretty different from Americans who, who are more mid-career, um, more sort of more white collar uh, positions as well. You know, I think we have two, two groups of younger Americans. We have those that are healthy and wealthy um, and another group that has grown up in, in environments, uh, in neighborhoods and zip codes, rural or urban. Um, oftentimes uh, minority, but you know, sometimes poor and white, where their uh, health is poor, uh, they are economically distressed to begin with, they are loaded with debt, um, and they're already starting to experience chronic conditions very early in their lives. And it's this group um, that is um, really vulnerable to missing care, from not being able to pay for care, and then ultimately accelerating their kind of poor health and the cost that that's going to have. I think you can't suffer two once in a lifetime, you know, economic events, uh, the 2008-2009 recession, and this one, which looks by all appearances at the outset to be, you know, significantly worse, and sort of say, okay, you know, we just got really, really unlucky. I, I mean, I think people are going to look for structural explanations as to why this is happening. Um, and I think it's going to engender, you know, feelings of in insecurity, uh, economic insecurity, social insecurity. Uh, I saw in your poll too, young people are worried about having to relocate. Um, so there's, there's, you know, I think it's palpable what we're, we're seeing uh, among young people today. And um, this, this thing has obviously not run its course yet. The public health concerns are, are foremost, but the economic and repercussions are, are lurking in the background and we don't know how it's all going to end. Um, but we know that the young people, young people are going to be hit the hardest. Uh, and I think it's going to be really formative in how they think about the government's responsibility, um, both in a sort of public health role, but also in helping people recover economically. Uh, I think we're going to, we've already seen really different uh, reactions and, and attitudes about young people and, and older Americans about government's role in, in universal health care um, and, and providing sort of basic social safety net uh, programs for folks. And I think this is just going to strengthen that commitment um, that we need some kind of floor for folks, that, that this is not okay, that, that large swaths of the public are now unemployed, economically vulnerable. Um, and so I think that is going to be um, the legacy of, of this for, for millennials and, and uh, Gen Zers.